Police are investigating an incident in which activist Boniface Mwangi's home was vandalized last night. The attackers are said to have used improvised explosive devices to destroy sections of the house, which were still under construction. Mwangi accuses Machakos governor Alfred Mutua of plotting the destruction. But as Mark Masai now tells us, the governor is not taking it lying down. The state of affairs at Boniface Mwangi's house. Hours after vandals are said to have blown up a section of the house using rudimentary explosives. Workers at the scene claim the attackers also shot at the house in the Wednesday night incident. Mwangi believes that the attempted act to bring down his house is linked to his work and opinions. There's a government and there's God. This government will not act on you, but there's a God in heaven. So you have blown up my house. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to collapse. Tomorrow morning I'm going there to document and show how evil you are as a man. In this cell phone footage shared by Mwangi, the activist, without giving any reasons, linked Machakos governor Alfred Mutua to the incident. He claims that Mutua was intimidating him for a post he put up a few days ago. You have blown up my family's house. I was at my family and I have worked so hard to build. It's okay. Pictures from the scene show the foundation of the structure in Machakos was affected. Machakos County Commander Issa Mohamud says bomb experts have been called in to comb the area. We don't want to jump to issues for now. We need to uh, give time to investigations. Because investigations is also it's an art and science. We need to give it time so that uh, we know uh, the motive, we know the cause of all these things. So that whoever is behind this is brought to book. But the governor is not taking it lying down. Through his lawyer, Harrison Kinyajui, Mutua says he is going to court to sue Mwangi for defamation. In the seven-page demand letter seen by NTV, the former government spokesman had given Mwangi up until 5 p.m. to retract his statements and issue a public apology. Mark Masai, NTV.